Yo, what is going on, people out there? Tutorials Project V9 here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to rip DVDs using the WinX DVD Ripper Platinum program. Um, a while back, uh, around March last year, I made a tutorial over this. It was basic, though, and people, I got a lot of comments complaining and stuff, so I decided to make a more advanced tutorial um, using it. Um, but well, here goes the video anyway. Um, you can go to the website, which I am going to have the link to the website in the video description. Here goes their um, website here where you can purchase the DVD Ripper Platinum program. Um, it's around, it's a discount right now. For the holiday discount, it's $40, but it's usually around uh, $46, as you can see, plus tax. Um, but yeah. So let's get on with the tutorial. All right. So here goes the program, as you can see. And my last tutorial, I used the uh, DVD, the um, movie, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's what I used in my other tutorial, my my first tutorial. And I'm going to use the same movie for this one. So I am going to ask you, well, tell you, <laughs> to put the DVD that she was wanting to rip into your DVD tray of your tower and just close it there alright and wait for it to load up here alright guys so um, if it doesn't load up as you can see mine haven't yet you just go to disk and you hit OK just like that then it starts loading the DVD up it says please wait here alrighty and we are now ready to rip so I'm gonna tell you straight up right now that um, the longest running time as you can see it says video and then it has a time the longest running time is basically the full movie it's uh, the rest of this right here the title two three four five six is basically just extras to the um, um, the movie um, like the um, um, let me see behind the scenes I will say um, just clips from the movie but the longest running time which for this movie is a one hour 36 minutes and three seconds I hope I said that right this is just the movie so if you was just wanting the full movie, look for the longest running time out of these uh, clips here, and um, you'd be ready to go. So as you can see, we have um, circles. As you can see, this um, if you was wanting to rip um, the extras videos, the behind the scene videos of the movie, you just tick the little bubbles here. If you was just wanting the full movie and that's it, no extras, just the movie itself, you just click title one. All right. And um, you can come to the output folder and you can change it. As my case, I would change it to desktop because it's easier to find. All right. And if it has subtitles, uh, you can change it to English. If you don't want subtitles, just keep it disabled. For the audio, I will keep it at English uh, 6 uh, CH, uh, just personally me. And here down here is where we have our output settings. You can change it to, um, if you was wanting to put it on a portal, portable device, you can change it. You can uh, put it on the iPod Touch, Apple TV, iPhone, the iPad and Tab. Um, I guess that's a phone, the other Android phone, uh, Samsung, your PSP, and the this is just a format for phones, basically. And if you were just wanting to put it on your desktop, they have codecs, as you can see right here. These these are just file codecs, in which you can just put them on your uh, desktop. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that the AVI is the most um, video quality you know it's the highest video quality out of the mp4 the uh, mpeg the wmv and so on and so on if you was just wanting to take the audio of the movie 
and convert it into mu uh, music you would choose this tab right here you can mess around with the settings as you can see you just mess around with them and you hit start um, so let's come into the iPod here just to get you guys you know you uh, introduce you to the uh, program itself for the profile setting if you was just wanting to let me see put it on your iPod touch you will have to choose and if you want it the uh, movie HD choose the iPad iPad <laughs> the iPod video 2 for TV and where you see H264 that's HD um, just click on it and leave everything else alone you really don't need to mess with anything else because it's like already set up for you but you can mess around with the volume if you just want to turn the movie volume up as so you can slide the slider up um, but it's really I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really really loud though um, yeah that's that's pretty much it I'm just gonna show you guys something else here um, let me see to iPhone um, if you was pretty self-explanatory here you just choose which iPhone you have and if you want an HD look for the H.264 codec the uh, H.264 codec is a HD codec in which the movie will be HD so if you want it in HD look first of all look for the iPhone that you have so if you have an iPhone 3G um, and you want an HD you can just choose the H.264 codec right here if you have iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S as you can see right here look for the H.264 codec alright okay now it has two of those this is for the 4 iPhone 4 and this is for the iPhone 4S alright but that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions please feel free to contact me or just comment down below in the comment section uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm Tutorials Project V9, and I will catch you guys later.